Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels collector video and today I've got another brand new Hot Wheels casting for you guys. This is the Porsche 911 Carrera Key Ring. So this is a very cool new casting which you can um, apply to your own keys. Very, very cool. Much like the coupe clip we uh, saw a few years ago as a new casting. I believe it was a new casting for 2022. This one is very, very cool as well. The only difference is this one is licensed. The coupe clip was a fantasy casting. Now then, this car is a brand new casting for the 2024 F case. And this thing features in the Hot Wheels Experimotors Motors mini series for 2024 and is car number five out of five in that set. I would also like to mention that this is car number 134 out of 250 for the 2024 mainline. Now then, before we go any further, I would like to mention where I personally was able to find this thing. So I was able to find this thing in my local Tesco store. Uh, it's kind of like a supermarket here in the UK if you are from a different country and don't know what that kind of store is. Tesco have recently had a rebrand in their toy section where essentially the entertainer, another proper full-on toy shop who just sell toys, have moved in. So it means we get more Hot Wheels stock, we get better and newer Hot Wheels stock and I've definitely noticed the difference. It's definitely a positive change and uh, yeah, it's been really, really great ever since they moved in. The entertainer inside of Tesco have a deal on. So you do pay £2.40 each car, which is expensive. However, if you do buy two, you get both of them for £3.60. That means it works out that you would get each car for £1.80, which is almost the average price here in the UK for Hot Wheels, so not too bad of a price, especially for a new casting like this one. I was definitely happy to pay that price for this thing, as I think this is a great new model. I was also able to pick up the new BMW M3 wagon casting as well. A review and showcase of that car will be coming up soon, so please do stay tuned for that. It's a great casting, which I cannot wait to show you guys. But anyways, let me give you some facts about the real life car. First of all, I would like to mention that this is the keyring version of the existing 1971 Porsche 911 Carrera Hot Wheels casting. Very, very cool indeed. In real life, this car has a 2.2 litre naturally aspirated engine, which produces 180 horsepower and 199 newton metres of torque, and that converts to around 147 pound feet of torque. This car also has a 0 to 60 time in around 7.1 seconds and has a top speed of around 143 miles per hour. That converts to exactly 230 kilometers per hour. And this car has a curb weight of around 1,020 kilograms. That converts to around 2,249 pounds for you guys who are watching in America. And in the UK, this car has a value of around £100,000 up to around £150,000. That converts to around US dollars all the way up to around US dollars But anyways, that is it for my facts about the real-life car. So now let's jump straight into the very detailed showcase of this Hot Wheels model. Alright, so kicking off this showcase then, um, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car. And I would first of all like to mention the wheel choice on this thing. This thing does not have any wheels as you can see, so let's jump straight past that. You can see that the wheel part of this car has been created by the raw metal base of this thing. There's no wheels on this thing. Next up for the paint on this thing. There's no paint either, it's completely raw metal finished, which I think is great. It means it won't chip up when you do have this model on your keys, which is a great thing. There's nothing worse than when a Hot Wheels model gets loads of paint chips. It makes it look really, really ugly. With this car, you won't have that problem. Next up onto the tampoo work then. As you can see, there is some tampoo work on the side of this thing. It's very subtle and does a very good job at making this thing look very, very cool in my opinion. First of all, we've got the Hot Wheels logo done in black tampoo work, and we've also got this nice black striping along the side of this thing as well. 
There are three stripes, we've got two small ones and one large, thicker one in the center. You can also see the Porsche writing here in black as well in the middle of that stripe. What a cool design. It looks awesome in my opinion. And that is it for the temple work. Very, very simple temple work, but very effective in my opinion. I'm making this thing look very, very good. Next up onto the metal casting and plastic usage then. There's no plastic on this car whatsoever. And in terms of metal usage, there's really not much going on here. You can see where the windows on the real life car would be, but they don't feature on this model, of course, since this thing is completely made out of metal. I've already mentioned this car doesn't have wheels. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Oh, this thing does not have any wing mirrors. I think the reason why this casting does not have any wing mirrors is not because the Hot Wheels team ignored the wing mirrors, but rather they didn't want to add wing mirrors to this car because they probably fall off over time after this car has been used as a key ring for some time they might just chip off and of course that would look very ugly and yeah they decided not to add them which i think was the right move i may as well mention that the lower part of this car's side skirt as well as the lower part of the front and rear bumper of this car have been created by the raw metal finished base of this thing but that is it for the side of this thing so now let's move on to the front of this car all right, so taking a look at the front of this car then, as you can see, there's technically no temple work on the front of this thing. However, I will mention that you can see the Porsche badge or Porsche logo tampled onto the hood of this car from the top in a realistic and accurate look to the real life Porsche logo. Next up, in terms of the metal casting then, you can see the headlights of the real life car featuring on this model engraved very nicely in the metal casting there. And finally, I would like to mention that the front bumper portion of this car has been created by the raw metal finished base of this thing, and not the raw metal body of this thing. But yeah, that's really it for the front of this thing. There's not an awful lot going on here, so let's move straight on to the next side of this thing. All right, so taking a look at the next side of this car then, it's pretty much the exact same as the previous side, so I'm not gonna bore you with going over everything all over again. The only difference we do have here is you can see instead of Porsche being written in the black striping along the side of this thing, we do actually have Hot Wheels written in black temple work. That is a very small and cool detail, which I think makes this car so much cooler. A very good job from the Hot Wheels team there. I think it looks awesome. But yeah, of course you can pause this video here and have a look at the rest of this side of the car for yourself if you are looking for something specific. But if not, let's move straight onto the rear of this thing. All right, so taking a look at the rear of this car then, as you can see there's barely anything going on here either. That's simply because they wanted to make this casting as minimalistic as possible. It's to prevent any damage that may occur to this casting during its life of being a key ring. Let's jump straight into what you can see from the rear of this car then. So first of all, you can see this car's rear bumper being created by the raw metal finished base of this thing. And you can also see the part of this car which attaches to your keys here created by the raw metal finished base of this thing. So here is a little guide on how you put this Porsche 911 Carrera onto a key ring. Uh, so first of all, you need to open up the key ring like this, and then essentially you just guide this car's hook onto here like that, and essentially it will just go round the ring and eventually will be attached. It's pretty simple, it's not too difficult at all. But yeah, that's really it for the rear of this car. As I said, there's not really much going on here, so let's move straight onto the top of this thing. All right, so taking a look at the top of this car then, the details do not stop yet. First of all, you can see the outline of the real life car's rear window. Of course, this Hot Wheels model does not have any window plastic, so this is just a little engravement in the metal casting. Next up, you can see where the windshield of the real life car would sit as well, engraved into the metal casting. Next up, onto the hood of this thing then, you can see the hood vents, which does feature on the real life car, engraved into the hood of this thing very nicely there. That is a really nice little touch there. And finally, you can see the Porsche logo, which has been tampered onto the hood of this thing in a realistic and accurate look to the real life logo. This Porsche logo has been tampered on here in a mixture of red, black, and also some dark orange slash brown. But that is it for the top of this thing. And that is also it for my showcase of this thing. So now let's move on to my final thoughts and review on this car. 
All right, so now it is time for my final thought and review on this car. I think this is a great casting. I can see this thing being mixed, if I'm totally honest. I can see some people liking it, and some people just thinking it's kind of like a lazy casting from Hot Wheels. It's not that cool. I definitely think this thing is cool. I can see why people would buy it. I just wanted this thing for my collection. I think it's a really cool concept. It's great to see a licensed casting becoming a key ring. I'm happy to see Porsche accepting Hot Wheels' kind of um, idea and allowing them to go through with it. It is great to see. This casting is very, very cool and unique. The tampo work here is very nice. I like the fact that this thing does not have any paint on its body. It means it doesn't chip when it's in your pocket, on your keys. There's nothing worse than when you've got a Hot Wheels pocket car and it gets chipped up, it gets scratched up, and you get really, really frustrated. With this thing, you won't have that issue. Overall, I think this is a great model, a very unique model. I think the Hot Wheels team have done a great job. Of course, this thing does not have any wing mirrors or windshield wipers, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with this model. So that does lead me onto my score out of 10 for this thing. So what am I going to give this car out of 10? I'm going to be giving this thing a very very deserved 9 out of 10. I think this is a really really cool car, a really cool concept from the Hot Wheels team. I can't wait to see which licensed cars uh, end up being a key ring in Hot Wheels form. That will be very very cool to see. Let me know what you guys think will be the next car to become a key ring from Hot Wheels. I really don't know if I'm totally honest. I couldn't even guess if I tried. But yeah, that's really it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you to like. If you are new to the channel, make sure you to subscribe. Again, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of this model. And what do you guys think the next key ring casting will be? And yeah, that's really it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone. Take care.